Hey everyone, my name is Randy Lee and I'm an environmental engineer. Today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind and probably yours too. No matter who's sitting in the White House, I don't care who is president. The environmental engineering is still the best job to jump into. So whether you're a student just trying to figure out what career path to go into, or like a young professional ready to make your mark into this world, this field is not just a job, it's a gateway to solving some of the biggest challenges facing our planet. So let's face it. Politics can be a wild ride. Right now, we're dealing with an administration led by Donald Trump, and I think it's pretty clear where he stands when it comes to the environment. But here's one thing. Even if politics are crazy, the demand for environmental engineers is not going anywhere. Environmental challenges are global issues that don't take a holiday when political ideologies clash. The need for clean energy, sustainable energy, and effective waste management still remains constant. So while political debates may continue in Washington, the call to protect the planet is still there and will always be there. So first let's dive into why environmental engineering is a future-proof career. If you look around and read up on some of the news, no matter where you are in the world, you will see some sort of headline about some environmental disaster happening somewhere. Whether it be some wildfire happening in California, for example, hurricanes in the south, some earthquake happening somewhere in the world, or air pollution or water pollution in some third world country, you name it, the world is in constant need of some innovative solution to these environmental problems. Our natural resources are always under pressure and climate change is a reality that we'll have to face sometime in the future. So industries, governments, and private companies are all investing heavily right now into sustainable initiatives. That or they're just trying to look good in front of the public, but regardless of their motives, they know that deep down, in order for them to survive, they're gonna to have to be resilient to some of these changes. If they don't prepare for like an earthquake, for example, their entire office can be destroyed in that earthquake event. So how can they continue to operate when something like that damages their businesses? They won't. Only some other business that is like left standing after that whole earthquake event can operate and continue to go on doing their own thing. There's really no shortage of these opportunities when there's like environmental problems. One of the most appealing aspects to this career is its job security and the strong salary prospect that comes with it. Environmental engineers are always in demand because there will never be a day when environmental problems just like vanish. Even if trends do change and like new technologies emerge, the core challenge like managing pollution or ensuring you know safe drinking water and mitigating climate change, it'll always persist. Companies and governments are always going to be investing into these sustainable practices, meaning that job opportunities in this field are not only growing, but they're going to be evolving. And when you look at current market trends, you see a steady increase in job openings for environmental engineers. Industries ranging from like construction to technology and even like finance, they're hiring professionals who can innovate and implement these sustainable solutions. And while some fields may become oversaturated with talent, environmental engineers they remain relatively unsaturated compared to like more traditional sectors. So that means you're entering a field where your skills are in high demand. So it gives you some leverage to like negotiate salaries and like fast track your career progression. So just compare like computer science, for example, and environmental engineers. That tech bubble burst a while ago and now it's like pretty saturated where it's like pretty hard to find a job right now. But for me, environmental engineers, like we still don't have that much. There's not too many environmental engineers out there in the world. Now let's talk about the numbers. Although I won't bog you down too much with like the statistics, just know that environmental engineers do enjoy some of the best salary ranges in the engineering world. If you have things like experience or advanced degrees or like specialized skills, it's not uncommon to see like significant increases in earnings as you move up the corporate ladder. And remember that the journey doesn't stop at just like a six figure salary. There are numerous paths to leadership, research and entrepreneurship, which are all just like avenues where you can drive real change while being rewarded for your hard work. So for me personally, I currently started off as an environmental engineer making around 75,000 back in 2019. It is now like 2025 and I make about 120,000. So that's like a 60% increase over the course of like five to six years. But what about politics? Especially in the current climate where a figure like Donald Trump is a president, you might be wondering if politics affects the job market and career opportunities for environmental engineers. And the answer to that is no. Environmental issues are not political, they are global. 
the challenges we face with climate change, like water scarcity and like pollution, they don't care about politics. They exist independent of who's in charge of any country. So even under like a administration that's like super extreme or controversial, investment in clean energy and infrastructure and pollution control still receive like bipartisan support. Just think about it this way. When you have issues that affect every single person, like the air we breathe and the water we drink, there's like a collective interest to finding solutions that benefit everyone. Companies, regardless of like political affiliation, they're pushing for sustainability because they recognize that protecting our environment is not just good for the planet, it's good for business. You have us, the consumers, who are like demanding greener products or investors who are looking for like responsible companies and governments are trying to protect their country. They see sustainability as like the future. And let's not forget about like the personal satisfaction that comes along with this field. So as an environmental engineer, you're not just clocking in like at a desk doing your mundane work. You're making tangible impacts on this world. Every project that you work on or every innovative solution that you help implement, it's a step towards a cleaner and more sustainable future. It's a career that allows you to make a lasting legacy knowing that your work actually contributes to the well-being of the future. So you're not stuck at some dead-end job where there's no growth or like there's no meaningful impact to your work. And that's the main reason why I joined this field. Yeah, I was scared of the politics and the job market and like just being unemployed after graduating from college and still searching for a job because like no one cares about the environment or like the planet or even knew about this emerging field. So it was still new, but here I am, you know, still thriving in this economy and with this current administration, I know I'll still be around doing this thing until the day I die, basically, no matter what and no matter who is president. So what does it all mean to you? It means that if you're considering like a career path that is both challenging and rewarding, environmental engineering might just be for you. This field is brimming with opportunities and there's no better time to jump in than right now. As the world continues to grapple with environmental challenges, the demand for these skilled professionals who can design and implement sustainable solutions is only going to increase. And the best part really is that the job market in this field is not saturated. It's not overly competitive. Like you don't have to fight tooth and nail just to find a job. So this gives you the best chance to carve out your niche and like really thrive once you get your foot in the door. I know that sometimes it feels that some politics do overshadow everything, but I mean, if you just take a step back and focus on what truly matters, you'll see that it doesn't. The health of our planet, the quality of our water and air, and the sustainability of our resources right now are issues that will affect everyone, regardless of political affiliation. Environmental engineering is a field where your passion for science and innovation and the planet comes together to create some real world solutions. And yeah, while politics might dictate the narrative, the fundamental need to protect our planet and the environment still remains the same. It's still gonna be strong, it's still gonna be there. So as you consider your future, remember that the environment is not going anywhere. And its challenges, they're not just gonna magically disappear. The more we neglect these issues, the more pressing they'll become in the future. So this constant need for innovative solutions is what makes environmental engineering such a strong career. It's a field where every day presents a new challenge, a new problem to solve, and a new opportunity to innovate. So whether you're a student contemplating your next academic move or a young professional exploring like career options, consider the opportunities in environmental engineering. The field is robust, it's ever evolving, and it's crucial to the future of our planet. It's a career that isn't swayed by like politics or like temporary trends. You know, it's grounded in the constant need to protect this environment. So I hope this talk inspired you to see beyond the political headlines and focus on what truly matters which is the opportunity to make a lasting impact on the world. And also remember, again, that the environment isn't a political issue, it's a human issue. So as long as there are challenges to overcome, there will always be a need for environmental engineers. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. You're always welcome to just comment your concerns below, and I'll see if I can try my best to answer some of those. See you in the next one. Goodbye.